There are concerns that not enough people have been vaccinated with cases on the rise in many places. And while New Jersey is at the top of that list, the eligibility list there has, there has not been expanded. CBS 2's Jessica Layton reports. Massive, mostly maskless crowds partying by night, packing beaches and catching waves by day. Local doctors say spring breakers will no doubt contribute to the next wave of the virus. So what's your best guess for when this next wave will really hit? It's going to be in the next 30 days because of the two holidays, because of spring breakers coming home. Dr. Alexander Salerno in East Orange says we saw the same kind of spike happen during Thanksgiving and Christmas. Now we have the vaccine, but we're also competing with concerning new variants. There are a total of 400 reports of CDC variants of concern in our state. That includes more than 300 cases of the variant first detected in the UK and 65 infections of the strain first found in New York City. Multiple mutations of the virus have led to spikes in 12 states, with New Jersey at the head of the pack. Some experts also blame pandemic fatigue. The presence of vaccines does not mean the pandemic is over. At a time New York is dropping its eligible age to 50 and Connecticut is about to lower the age to 16, New Jersey is still stuck at 65 and over. We asked the governor why. If you're 65 and older, you're automatically eligible. If you're under 65 and you have a chronic condition, you've been eligible since January. He never did answer. Dr. Salerno says the state should not only lower the age to 50, but increase distribution of the doses to doctors, especially in communities of color. First, we didn't have the protective gear, then we didn't have, you know, swabs to be able to test. And now in the final stage of this, we don't have the vaccine. The governor did say he expects everyone will at least be able to register for the vaccine by May 1st. In East Orange, New Jersey, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.